So it's all very well printing to white reflective. Of course, here in the UK, we have a yellow plate on the back, and when we come to use a yellow reflective instead of white and preview, much as it looks great on screen and it doesn't look to be any issues, the actual print looks something like this. So you can see the comparison. The red is okay, the black is okay, but look at the difference between the blues. So this is a problem. And so the way we get around this is we actually go into the side badge and we choose pre-printed. And then when we preview the plate, we, we've got a space. And what we do with that space is then put a badge into the um, space. So we print the badge onto a very thin material, 60 microns. And, and you could do this yourself because it, it's printed through the Oki, the C650. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how this works. I'm going to print this plate to uh, the Oki onto yellow reflective and then I'll show you how that looks as we lay it down. So here's our reflective printed through the Oki and we've left a space here and that space is going to take this badge. Now this badge is um, just a piece of very thin material, 60 microns. It's been printed through the Oki so you can produce these yourselves whichever badge you want to use and then what we do <coughs> peel back and as you can see it's very 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 thin and then you lay that and it's pretty generous of space just make sure you've got it nicely flattened down and then what you do is you take the acrylic um, and you're going to lay the acrylic on and roll it through and that will create as you can see um, perfect badge on it. This has always been a problem with CMYK printers that getting blue on yellow is problematic. This is a very effective and inexpensive way to get the badges. A little time consuming but gets the job done. Now if you are printing onto acetate as opposed to reflective then the situation is slightly different. Instead of um, reflective let's choose acetate. So we're printing onto film and then we're going to lay the plate down onto a piece of yellow reflective ABS. So what we do then is we actually print the side batch preview and then we print as before to our OK. So when you're printing uh, to two part um, ABS reflective and acetate so we've just printed the plate and you can see that it's actually printed in reverse and the reason for that is it's going to be laid down onto a piece of um, ABS reflective. So when this goes down onto the plate you can see what happens to the badge. Alright, so what we have to do is put a panel behind the badge just the same as when we did the acrylic but the badge goes in behind like that and when we roll the plate through the jig you can see we it's perfect. So with the uh, onto reflective and acrylic, we put the panel a pre-printed badge onto the reflective, and we put our acrylic on. And when we are doing it through film, and it just it both work. It's just depending on your choice. You basically put a panel, and again, it's the same thin material that printed the badge, 
but this time it's just a, an outline and it, and it fits onto the badge perfectly and you just lay it down and run it through and that's how you make one or other depending upon your choice of materials.